Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. This is Rich in the Philippines and today we're going to do something a little bit differently. I'm huffing and puffing because I just went and got the ball for the kids. Today we're going to talk to an expat who came here with a skill and he developed a dream. And this is part one of his interview and we'll be back with part two once he gets a little more into his dream. His name is Gary and again as always Thank you for your support on the channel, and we will see you later. Oh. Hi. I'm Gary. Um, I'm from the United States. Uh, last res residence was Portland, Oregon, and um, lived in multiple places on the West Coast. Born in California, uh, San Luis Obispo. I um, ended up at a very young age in the service during the Vietnam War and uh, came to the Philippines and was stationed in uh, Pampangai. Uh, which is Subic Bay and uh, when I did two tours of duty here a year each and ended up finding that at that point in time and very early on in life I, I loved the Philippines. So here I am 50 years later and uh, I'm back and what got me back was the people, the, the the warmth of society here, people moving on the streets, walking around, the busyness uh, without, uh, unlike the strip mall factor in the United States where people climb out of their car, go 20 feet to a strip mall door, get their pizza and they go home. There's, we're, we're not meeting anybody. Here you meet everyone, everyone's a friend. It's such a beautiful place. So being stationed in uh, uh, along Apo City there, um, I had made a commitment when, uh, when I left Vietnam and went back to the States that someday I was coming back to the Philippines. Here I am. Now my adventure began here about two years ago, uh, coming into the area based on some YouTubers that are within the neighborhood, um, got hooked up with them, and it was my intention originally to go further south. But this place is so lovely that it is not built up. It is not stacked up. It doesn't have the million people outside your front door and the trikes and the noise. I am literally two minutes from 7-Eleven, from Super 8, from laundromat, from pharmacy, from the doctors, local cheap medical care of qualified physicians. And so even though I have my uh, retirement and as a disabled vet, I haven't even used it over here because the medical has been so cheap. Um, I've signed up with the VA. I can make that trip. I can do those things, but I just go support the community. It's such a good thing to do. Gives me a good feeling also. Um, I got uh, this, this humble little place that I'm in right now. I took on as the first apartment that I moved here. I've upgraded, done things to it. And based on being it right where I'm at, I talked to the owners of the property and they were willing to expand two more units for me that I was, they'd give me the walls, the ceilings, I'd give them the floor plan and they built out of this, this one unit, there's two more, I took them on along with this unit and now I have all three units and I'm paying less than $270 a month for all three. How can you live like that in the States? So. They, we decided to build next door. Uh, I've gone into a pretty extensive build. I've committed probably um, in the upwards of $15,000. I've completely retooled up over here. I was a contractor in the United States. And with finding the first year of just coming to an apartment, sitting around, yes, get the excitement and everything, but I didn't find what was really making me feel good making me want to get up and then go out the door each day. I decided to take on the task of building from scratch. This is a brick and mortar country. 
you don't have wood framing, there are so many challenges. But the challenges have kept me just going every day. And taking these people that don't know the aspect of perfection, because it has never been offered to them, to take and teach the guys that I'm working with. The, they, they see it every time they, they step back and look at their own work in awe. And as you will see later, the uh, extent of what has gone next door from cinder blocks and ground up. I've come in, I've put, laid down plumbing, I've done American Electrical. I have everything that I would want and could possibly want in the United States right here, right now. And those two units after the build will cost me $180 a month. Guess what? In one year, gentlemen, ladies, everybody, YouTubers, in one year of paying what I would pay in the States and what I'm paying here and being in, I will have all the money back in my bank in one year. And guess what? Then I'm living in the beautiful, beautiful place for uh, $270 a month. Okay, what gets me going in the Philippines? Uh, first got here, and you know we go through the excitement of, okay, I'm going to see this, I'm going to see that, I'm going to go here, go there. Well, that can only last for so long. And you end up finding yourself in a little apartment somewhere, remote, uh, difficulties moving around, learning the system. The beauty of Tracy was everything was readily available right here, right out of the gate. I had everything right outside within, in either direction, restaurants, gym, food, grocery store. Everything was right here in a matter of minutes. Trikes, not jeepneys. You'll get to your real experience of riding jeepneys and it'll probably not be long lived. They will drive you out of the country. So I strongly recommend being in an area where there's an abundance of trikes. Uh, I've gone and I've bought myself a vehicle since I've been here. And I'm start, I get, once you get used to the, uh, the road hazards out there, you become, you become a pretty aggressive, good driver. So what gets me going each day after the excitement kind of wore off of being here is the fact that I needed something else. And so, taking my talents from America, looking at what there is to work with here, it became a real challenge. You're working with concrete, you're working with brick, you're working with not anything that you would as a contractor in the United States. No codes, no this. So you have to find the ideal circumstances for the perfect storm. We have choices over here. One is marry a Filipino, so you can have property. Two, come in as a corporate business with many uh, employees so they will allow you as a business to own property. Then there's finding the people that have inherited their property and can never do with it because it's locked forever. That's this, that's this place. They can never sell their property. All the children got a piece of the parcel after mother and father passed away with stipulation, it stays in the family and goes to kids, to kids, to kids. That gave me the ability to make a deal on the property with people that are far going to live longer than I am and say, hey, I'm here till I die. My boots are on the ground. I've made a commitment to this parcel of land. I've built everything modularly in that place other than losing tiles or something. Worst case scenario, if something bad happens, I pull everything out of there and I do go build somewhere else. Um, but the fact that I get up every day and I walk out my door, I have my coffee and I take 20 steps and my crew shows up at eight o'clock. By the way, the crew, I was able to get an English speaking gentleman, a journeyman qualified in this area uh, with reputation. So I ended up with two that are giving me that exceptional work next door. Um, worked through, changed things, gone back and forth, done the struggles, but those struggles make you stronger and make, it make, at the end of the day, when you look at what you accomplished, you really feel good. 
So anyway, we've gone on, built the place. It is probably at 90% right now. And uh, I'll be planning on moving in there very shortly. And I'm going to rent this unit out. It's fully furnished as an American unit with upgrades, hot water, uh, ACs. Um, this is my little, was my glitch. Once I got done with this glitch and carving this apartment into a very pleasant place to live, then I took on that adventure. That adventure's done, what will I do? Maybe I'll put a second floor on. <laughs> that being said, I think it's time to rest and enjoy.